Hello and welcome to the power shed. I have a new addition and that's this uh, little panel meter I got here. This little test box. Uh, this is 12 volts. This one is uh, uh, common. And this is a signal from a solar panel. And that solar is independent of all the other ones. Uh, this is what we call a pilot panel. And I have this thing set up so that I have a load resistor on it. It's always measuring the short circuit current of the panel and producing a voltage from that. And from that, uh, with this little adjustment up here, on a good sunny day at noon when I'm getting the maximum output, I set the output for a 1 volt through a simple voltage divider. And uh, that tells me when the panels are, are capable of producing 100% of the power. And uh, any other time of the day, it'll be lower than that. And right now, it's, it's measuring 0.75, which is 75% power. And uh, that's a handy thing to know. I mean, a lot of times when you're looking at uh, your equipment and you're saying, like, you know, should I be producing more amps than it is? Uh, this basically tells you. But it's a little more than just having another meter in the shack and impressing your friends with it. Uh, there's some very useful things you can do with this. And I'm back. And, uh, you know, I'm all about water heating. And uh, a lot of heating elements that you buy with your battery voltage uh, basically have uh, two, two heating elements in them. So there's two resistors. And you'll, you can identify these because they'll have two big shorting bars on them. And you normally connect your power to those two shorting bars. But you can remove one of them, and then you have access to two different resistors. And why is this important? Well, you know, you just saw that uh, my power is at 75% right now. When you reach about 70% of the power of the panel, so if you have, uh, you know, a 10-amp panel, if it's producing 7 amps, you can actually produce more power with just one of the resistors rather than two of them in parallel. So it would be nice to be able to switch that. And, uh, you know, you can do that with these little bricks if you don't want to build your own FET circuit. But you get down to just 50% power, and having one resistor produces twice as much heat as having two in parallel. And, you know, 50% is still a lot of power uh, coming out of your panels. You know, we all think in terms of sunny days, it's nice to think that, like, if you buy a 8-amp panel, it's going to produce, a, you know, 7.5 amps through most of the day. But it's not. If you get a few clouds in there, you'll get, in, you know, it wouldn't be unusual for you to get 7 or 6 amps or 5 amps out of your panel. And uh, you're actually losing heat that you could uh, be generating. Like I say, if you get down to 50%, which is still a lot of power, you produce twice as much heat using just one resistor than two. So in my simple box over here, I have the pilot panel, and I load it down with a resistor. Now, the resistor you want to choose so that uh, in good sunlight, you get about 50% of the voltage of open circuit. That Make sure that you're always operating in, at the uh, short circuit potential of the voltage. And, uh, you know, if you get up to power point voltage, power point's about 10% less current than short circuit. So you want to stay away from power point. And then you go into a simple voltage divider. You go into a little 2-volt meter. And uh, you set that up so you get, uh, you know, 1 volt for you know, what's the best sun. And, uh, you know, you won't get maximum current of what the panel is rated at because your angles may be different, the temperature may be different, any number of reasons. But for your situation, uh, it'll tell you when you're getting that 100%. Now, you can build your own little circuit here. And here's one right here. As you can see, we just set, and you know, we're at 74% right now. 
And so we're just at the point where we would be considering switching to a single element. And uh, this is a fairly simple circuit to build. You can get these little perf boards. They're like 10 for a, two bucks. And you know, I'm, I'm even cheaper. I cut them in half or thirds to build my circuits. It's fairly simple, but a lot of you won't want to build something and uh, that's okay. Because if you search eBay, just use the search uh, uh, phrase, digital voltage meter time delay. And uh, look for one with a case. Uh, one of the common ones you'll see is DVB01. This doesn't have a case. And having a case is only about three bucks more. And, uh, you know, that's a deal. And the nice thing about it is uh, on the case, uh, they print the, print the instructions. And let's face it, you buy one of these, you may not even get instructions. And uh, a year later, you won't be able to find them. So this is, you know, for 13 bucks shipped, you can get one with a case. And you can set the old upper voltage to turn on, the lower voltage to turn off. And you can get within uh, a tenth of a volt. So that's a nice turn on range. And you always want to put in a time delay. These bricks are nice, but they're slow. And so at least have a one minute time delay between turning them on and off. Because if you're switching back and forth, uh, these uh, relays will heat up. So, you know... That's my suggestion. I mean, two times more power, that's like buying twice as many panels. And you need that power on the worst days. You know, when it's nice and sunny, you know, most people on the, in solar are, are, are sunny day thinkers. You know, every day is a sunny day, but you know, you want hot water, you want it on a bad day. You know, you don't want to have to wait two or three days to take a shower. And uh, this will get you the extra power and you don't have to use some of my uh, PowerPoint circuits, you know, you don't have to build any of that. This is fairly simple, off the shelf, and it'll cost you only, you know, at the most $25. Uh, you can get, you know, if you have some old garden lights, uh, these things are about 6 volts, and I don't know, they put out about 50 milliamps, and so you can adjust the resistor so uh, that works. Uh, you know, I, I'd suggest having uh, two of them in series, and that'll give you uh, 12 volts to work with. And that'll give you, you know, much bigger numbers for this uh, voltage meter. They don't expect you to be running around one volt. So uh, the uh, new solar panels, the little six volt ones, you can find those on eBay for about, you know, two and a half bucks each. And uh, that's all you really need. So I hope this... Uh, Get you thinking, and if you have any questions, please ask. Thanks for watching.